My name is Helen Dunlap and I'm from Napa, California. I first got involved with Mercy Housing when I met Sister Lillian at a conference in about 1990 on housing preservation. I was one of the sponsors and she came up to me during a break and asked me if I would be interested in doing some work with Mercy and the San Francisco board particularly. From that moment when I met Lillian to today, I've been involved with Mercy pretty consistently. Before there was a legacy circle, I made the decision to provide a, a generous percentage of my estate to Mercy. My estate may not be very big, but Mercy's getting in a generous amount. I made that decision because it is constantly creating that future, and I believe that that's what you should do with a legacy um, contribution is put it where you know the, uh, the world will be going and with people who will take the world to the right place. I've done consulting, I've done board training, I've done a lot of facilitation, done research, done some project development work, done a lot of problem solving around what m might work in a particular market or not, um, as the case may be. So a little of a lot of things. Well, I think Mercy will always um, demonstrate what a, a housing um, organization should and can do in terms of building the, the quality of life for its residents and the community that it exists in. I know it will be present, and I know that it will be um, leading in that environment. I'm very comfortable that it will continue to be inclusive and expand its, uh, its engagement in communities of color, uh, and it will find ways to um, demonstrate that to its brethren in the housing business. I really am excited that Mercy is reaching out to um, ask others to join uh, the Legacy Circle and has created a circle. I consider it a privilege to be able to ask you to join the Mercy uh, Legacy Circle.